Okay, so what we recently did is upgrade our website from using um, a temp, uh, uh, an HTML model that we started from scratch to using a pre-built bootstrap template. So the way you get started is open up a website called startbootstrap.com. And this has a bunch of free open source bootstrap themes that we can use legit. Um, so we'll press this button to browse all themes and templates. Now normally I would encourage everyone to just find the one that they prefer, but because this is our first project, we are selecting the same one to go over together so there are fewer variables. And so that means you're going to go to grayscale and press this uh, preview and download button. And then just go ahead and download grayscale. There's the download button here. And that will come in the form of a uh, zip file. So let's just save that uh, for now to our desktop so we can un unzip it. If you're not being asked where to save files, uh, go to your settings. If it's just auto putting the, your downloaded files inside your uh, downloads folder, um, that's, you know, come on. So let's just scroll down and you can go to downloads, check this box, ask uh, where to save each file before downloading. Okay. So now I've got this folder. So I'll, let's uh, look. Let's look at it in our uh, our downloads. And so now I will double click this uh, to open it up. If you're on a PC, you'll double click it, find the folder, and drag it out here. So it is now free. Okay. So here's a bunch of files uh, showing me um, my new content. And if I double click this guy, I can see. Um, what this uh, looks like. So this is the theme that we're going to customize. Um, but uh, I still have my old project. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up a new window. Uh, so control N to have a new window. And I will look up the project that I had been working on for my class. Uh, and so that is right here. So You'll only have like two files in there, or three files maybe. Um, I have a lot more now. What I did is I renamed my index to old underscore index and my old styles to old underscore styles. That way I can still look up uh, what I'm, I was using that stuff for so I can find out uh, my old styles and some of my old rules. Once I renamed them, I just went to this folder, copied everything, and then pasted it right inside my bootstrap folder. Uh, so now I'll have my, my new project all right here. And if I look in brackets, my folder automatically updated over here. So you can see I have my old index that has my old file here and my new one that has my new stuff. So my, the first thing that I recommended we did uh, is go to the old styles.css and copy this comment that has our um, our color codes that we're using. So copy this guy and paste it in on the com as a comment up here. So that way we have our new styles that we can reference. And that'll be super helpful as we uh, start to modify, let's say, our font color. Instead of being um, the black that it was, I want to use my jet black that I'm using. And maybe a default background color. Instead of the background it was, I'm implementing um, uh, my sky blue. If you put hashtags in front of them, the comments, then brackets will still let you preview them. So, uh, but that needs the hashtag. Um, very helpful. Um, 